Hey, welcome to Stockholm Makerspace. Uh, I'm Alice Glow with Hexter, and uh, this is Eva. Can you say your last name? Uh, Keith Kigord. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who is a huge part of this uh, Makerspace and runs Makershe, which is like uh, an organization promoting women and girls in tech? Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. So we're going to show each other how to make some cool wearable stuff. Uh, I think we're going to start out with this little uh, LED pendant. What do you call this? Yeah, we call it Ljushängen in Swedish. Uh, it's like a LED charm. We also have them on uh, Imagine. Cool. Uh, so you can download uh, the design and print yourself. It's like a, a box um, and a lock, like this, and also a battery and an LED. Like Sweet. This. And she just printed this like four minutes ago on the Ultimaker back there. Yeah. So it's super fresh hacks for you. It's our best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how do we do this? Yeah, so um, uh, we do a lot of workshops with like uh, kids and all ages, like uh, people. Um, people tend to like them, uh -huh. whether they are like boys, girls, um, men, women. Like. Awesome. Uh, so I just took some one-sided tape and uh, put it ar around like this uh, to keep the LED in place. Uh, then I sort of bend this one like uh -huh. that on one side. Uh, and the important part here is not to shortcut uh, to yeah so that the legs oops, uh, mm -hmm. doesn't touch each other. Uh -huh. um, and then uh, I prepared some uh, double uh, double sided double -sided tape, tape mm -hmm. yeah here. Uh, so I just put it there like this uh, so it sticks. And now yeah. if I drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Like drop it like that. Uh, it's still, it's still in place. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's a uh, because children tend to drop these all the time, and then you have like parts uh, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so then you just take the uh, this one, the box, uh, and we have like a smiley. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the the LED should be like in the mouth, in the smiley sort of. Um, so you put them together like that cool. and press and it fits yeah. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't fit and everyone is like <laughs> trying um, so hard it's yeah. so pretty the way it diffuses it and then how do we hang this yeah we use a, a colorful awesome like this and then you yeah let's do a long one so I can take it off try it around your neck like I usually do like multiple things. <laughs> yeah, awesome, nice. So, you can cut it here. Uh huh. And just like stick it on. Yeah. Let's see. And then I guess if I knot it like this, it'll be sturdy. Yeah. So taking the two ends yeah. and twisting them around. I have actually a trick for oh, like yeah? how you can make it short and longer. Oh. Uh, it's like making two knots. Uh, I don't know what they call, uh, but like a special knot. Ooh. Like so, like this. And then on the other side, oh, yeah. it's like a square knot made with one uh, piece of string around the other one, so they're not tied together, uh, but one of them is yeah. tied to itself. Because oh, cool! Then you can make it like shorter and longer, like this. Cool, yeah. Awesome! <laughs> Badass. Yeah. Now I feel like Iron Man. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's a good introduction to 3D printing as well. Because uh, people learn, like, wow, we can actually print whatever we want. We yeah, can, and it's printed make... super fast. It was like five minutes or something. Yeah. Three minutes? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Exactly. Now I feel way more legit. Um, <laughs> so the other thing we're going to make is a piezo contact mic necklace, uh, which we. Uh, Created as a workshop for the Stockholm Mini Maker Fair this weekend, which Eva invited me to. Yay. Yeah, I got the U.S. Embassy to fund it. Yeah, Yay. <laughs> so um, we're going to start with um, the cables. So, if you want to strip the end off of here, just the yeah. black sheathing. Right. There's this, but I don't know if you have like a legit wire stripper oh, or something. Oh, I have it over there. Oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah. This one. 
It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you can strip about uh, an inch or two and a half centimeters off the end of that. Okay. Awesome. Oh. This takes a little while, so I'll show you what the rest is. Centimeters, like. uh, the metric system. <laughs> yeah. Like this? Oh, nice! Or even you did like it right on the first try. Yeah, so it's. I guess you have experience. Uh, we've been teaching this to a bunch of like high schoolers and kids down to like seven years old or even younger. I think we had some really small kids. Yeah. So I'm used to being like, yay! All good sizes. job! You did it! <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to be too patient. That's awesome. <laughs> so now you're gonna twist these silver wires, the ground wires, together. Yeah. Yeah, this is so much fun to actually do it now. Yeah. Because I've I've been around the weekend, but uh, only watching from uh -huh. a distance, <laughs> and now I can try it out, out myself. Nice. So, I do it like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then you strip about a quarter inch or about half a centimeter off of the ends of the two small ones, and you twist them together. Alright. <laughs> cool. So, I'm going to cut this ground wire a little shorter. The cool one with this one is you can cut it here as well. Uh -huh. Uh, so you can cut oh, the, the wire here. No way! Like that. That's badass. I've never seen one of these before. I came here. Yeah. Special Sweden tricks. What? <laughs> so why uh, why are these like white and red and what's oh, the purpose yeah. of these? So uh, the white and red ones are your left and right channels. I'm not sure which is which. Um, I'm sure the internet can tell us. Uh, and so it's a stereo cable, which is why it's got two rings, uh, or it's got a tip and a ring and a sleeve. So TRS, it's a TRS connection, um, tip and ring, I think, I don't remember which is left or right, but those are the two channels. And then the sleeve is ground, and so uh, red and white, left and right. What they should do is make, make it rhyme like that. And let me prepare another Ooh, one. Oh wow, I think I did it. Yeah, nice! Yay! What you're gonna do is, um, your piezo is already tinned. Uh, now you need to tin your wires, if you like, uh, and mm -hmm. twist these two together. Oh, oh yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to tin the other pad of my piezo. Because if you screw up on one of these pads, it's okay. Because you can use the other one instead. Uh, the way these work is that if you hook up, uh, uh, power and ground, and then also this guy, I think you short it to ground, I think, or power. One way or the other, uh, it ends up being a really horrible beeping alarm noise, uh, and so that's what they use in some alarms as a cheap source of horrible noises. <laughs> so we don't do that, instead we're using it as a pickup. Uh, yeah, so your little red and white ones go to the white pad, and then your ground goes to the edge disc. Okay. Part. So, like this. Like that. Yeah! Okay. And the main thing is to be careful that your uh, red and white wires are still shielded where they cross the silver part so that uh, you don't get a short. Okay. Ooh, shake your hands! Uh, <laughs> it's the end of a long day. Yeah. We've been uh, running around all day. It's yeah. 11 p.m. right now. Uh, I gave three presentations today. Late and evening. we gave like a whole workshop for. 20 high school students. Yay, perfect! Mm. Wow! Perfect! <laughs> awesome! Yay! Uh, now let's it. test it! So, uh, the other part of this workshop is this um, crazy amplifier that we made using the laser cutter here at Stockholm Makerspace. Bam! Uh, so it's got 15 inputs. It's got a little switch up here. And uh, so if you plug in to one of these guys. Alright. So I'm plugging this one. Uh huh. To that one? Sure. No, not that one! <laughs> not that one! <laughs> and then you hit it with something like your fingernail or whatever. Uh, yeah, it makes. Oh, wow. You probably can't hear this on the video, but it's amazing. It's just completely stunning in person, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not blown. Uh, so, that's the functional part of this. And now, to make it more awesome, <laughs> uh, we're going to attach it to one of these crystals that turns it into a pendant necklace. Um, 
so now it's yours. But you're yeah. not wearing it. I'm not wearing it anymore. Let's look it up. But here it is. Yeah. Oh. Here it is. There we go. Uh, so. We need some foam tape. You're gonna put a square of this on the green side of your piezo. Alright. It loops around because it's super long. So why do you use foam tape? Uh, because it has some thickness to it. It's double-sided tape, um, and the thickness helps com compensate for how uh, thick the wires are on here. Mm. So it sort of cushions it. Yeah, smart. So I put it like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. Yeah, on the green side, very specifically. And then, um, so when you've printed some of these, Eva printed these. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's got a front side, which looks like this. It's got the sort of circle pattern on it and this holder for the cable. And what's the pattern for? Uh, it's just, just it looks cool. It looks. Yeah, it um, looks like a spaceship uh, has landed ooh, on a cool. field or something. Yeah, it's like a crop circle, right? Yeah. Um, originally, it was because I had a circle on the, on the sketch on the model so that I knew where the piezo was going to go and I could make sure it would fit. Um, and so it's really confusing to people in the workshop because they try to put the piezo in the center of the circle, looks like a piezo, and so I should really just change the design. But um, I think I'm going to make it into more of like a diamond, like with lines and stuff. <laughs> but it kind of fits the, the guitar because it's got circles. I don't know. Yeah, I like uh, it. So on the back of it, it's got, it might be easier to see on the red. Oh, but yeah. this is covered it's up like already. It's like a cross. And yeah, it's got a, an X. Yeah. And a couple of little lines off to the side, and that shows you where to oh, stick the piezo. it should be like that? Yeah, exactly! Oh. Oh. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you don't see anything. <laughs> like that. Yeah. It shows you where to stick the piezo and where the lines should, or the cable should come off to the side. Okay. Awesome! Now you just Something press like it together. That. Yeah! <laughs> and one thing that might happen is that uh, the black sheathing can get in the way of the piezo, but it looks like it's fine. Yeah! Okay. Um. And so now you can wear it like a necklace, and you can take it off. Oh, Bonnie! Yay! We have a guest, Elliot. Um, it's since a we're almost done. space rabbit. Yeah, here, take a look. <laughs> oh. Do they all have red eyes? No, no this is just special. <laughs> this is Carolyn, she's awesome, and Elliot, who's also awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. What have you been making today, little <laughs> bunny? She's been making pranks all day. That's what bunnies do. Nice. So right. now, yeah, you can wear that. And also, what we did for the workshop, since we were uh, working with like 15 or 20 people at once, is um, we have these multicolored rubber bands, and you can attach them to the cables so that you know which one is yours, um, which allays the fear, fears of little children and everyone else who's like, I made this thing. It's just mine. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Um, and so we saw someone doing like little leaves by attaching these uh, like this and she made it into like a rose design it was really cool uh, so like all down the cable she had these things sticking out like leaves you can 3d print some as well yeah totally I mean saw somebody like um, making little loops in the wire itself and all kinds of other cool stuff somebody put two of these together and made a, a set of headphones with stereo audio it's crazy um, sweet yay Yay! Thank you, Thank you for come making. Awesome. Yay, hey. Stockholm Milky Space. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Ciao. Ciao. Or hey, <laughs>